Hey guys, you know, um, if you watched my last video about the Brainwaves HM5 headphones, you notice towards the end of the video I mentioned um, these, these Sennheiser headphones. Well, you know, I'm making a video today just, just to um, tell you what these headphones are all about. Because you know, you could tell from the last video I was really excited about these headphones and I'm going to tell you why. So yeah, I purchased these headphones about almost a month ago. It's, it's been almost a month now. And when I saw these online, um, you know, I wasn't expecting much. And you know, when you buy stuff, you know, um, something new that you haven't, you know, used before or something that you know nothing about, you know, there's very few times where you get really excited about something. And I have to admit, you know, I have listened to so many pair of headphones and it's really hard for me to get excited about a pair. And this is why I made this video, because I really wanted to tell you guys about the, this pair right here. Let me just, so, um, I ordered these, as I mentioned earlier, about a month ago. So I really had time to break them in and to really listen to them to see how they sound compared to my other pair of headphones that I have. And uh, let me tell you something. Uh, when I purchased these, I wasn't expecting much. Uh, I remember seeing, you know, the image of these online, and when I first looked at them, you know, I was like, hmm, they seem, you know, pretty decent. They seem, okay, they look interesting. They seem, you know, pretty large at first, because I looked at the photo. So when I received these, uh, when I got them home, I got them in the mail, and, and the first thing I noticed about these headphones was they were in a very small envelope. Yeah, um, I bought these online on eBay. I got them for like 99 cents, right? There was a guy that was listing headphones that he had in his garage that he was, I guess, getting rid of. And he had a, you know, a few nice pair. He actually had a pair, I believe they were, um, was it um, B&W headphones? Bauer and Wilkins headphones. Well, he had a pair. I think they were the Solos, right? Those are, um, or, or I think they were Bang or Oferson or, um, B and W headphones. Anyway, they were the um, solo ones, and he had those for ninety nine cents, and he had these for ninety nine cents. And I remember on his listing, I'm trying to make this quick, but on his listing, he said, you know, um, he started to bid at ninety nine cents because he did not check these headphones to see if they work. So he said they were as is. So if they work, they work. If they didn't, they didn't work. Well, anyway, um, so I got these. In the mail and let me tell you he put these in a very small package i don't even have the original package but um and this is what shocked me because when i first saw these headphones you know uh with, on the photo um they looked at pretty large they looked at about average size pair of headphones but when i got them in the mail he put them in a, a small envelope it was almost like a um a little bit larger than a six by nine envelope and I was saying, are these the headphones? I was expecting to get these headphones in a box, a kind of large box, but he put them in a small envelope. And, you know, when I took them out, I was just shocked. I looked at them, and I was like, this is what I ordered? Because when he took the photo, he didn't really um, take any close-ups, you know. He took them from a distance. And, you know, looking at the headphones, they looked at pretty large, but they wasn't up close. And once I got them and took them out of the package, I looked at them, I was really... Um, at first, I was a bit disappointed because I looked at it. I just said, like, wow, these are really small and they probably don't sound any good. Or they may not even work because they are as is. So um, what I did was, you know, I got my phone out and I opened up a couple of tracks that I was really familiar with. And when I listened to these headphones, I was shocked. Let me tell you, I was blown away by the sound that actually came from these headphones i mean i was shocked and again as i mentioned before um you know there's a few times where i get really excited about headphones now because i have you know listened to so many different pairs and styles that i you know i don't get excited that much but when i listen to these i was just blown away by the sound quality from these tiny headphones and just let me show you um how small they are i mean you could look at them just Laying them on my two fingers, you can see they are really small. Look at that. And again, you know, just by looking at them, you would not think um, these headphones have the type of sound that um, 
just from looking at these headphones, you would expect these tiny headphones to have the type of sound that I'm talking about. I mean, you have to listen to these for yourself. But I'm just going to show you how small these are. I get my brain waves right here. Now, here we go. These are the brain waves HM5s. And these are the Sennheisers. Look at the size difference. Look at that. Yeah. These are large, you know, over ear headphones or studio monitor headphones. You can see how large they are. And in my hand, you know. But put the Sennheiser next to them. These tiny little headbands. I call them headbands because actually these fit behind your um, head or behind your neck. These do not fit on your head, but look at the size difference. So, yeah. So, I'm going to put them right here. So, anyway, you know, when I got these and I started listening to them, I was just blown away by the sound quality. These tiny headphones have such a large sound stage. I'm not kidding. I mean, the sound stage on this is, it's like, it's almost huge, you know, when you listen to them. And... And I would tell you that, you know, um, as far as, you know, the imaging and the response, I mean, these things are truly um, amazing, you know. And this is the thing, you know, these are vintage pair of headphones. I actually don't know how old these are. Um, I don't even know when they were made. I'm thinking they were made somewhere in the 90s. So if they were, they over 20 years old or 20 or 25 years old. And again, you know, um, these are made by Sennheiser, and the model is actually, let me see, right here. It's the PMX 200. There you go. Yeah, and, um, well, let me go over the belt quality really quick about these behind the head. And again, you know, these fit behind your head like this. You put them on, and this part goes to the back, back of your head towards the neck area. And these are the clips that fit on your ear. And believe it or not, they're pretty comfortable. You know, even with these clips, and these clips fit behind your earlobe, it's still, you know, they feel pretty comfortable. Com I'm sorry, they feel pretty comfortable. So they don't really hurt your ears. Unless you are, um, I guess, unless you, if you wear glasses or anything like that, and you put these behind your ear with your glasses, and if you don't put them on correctly, they may hurt your ear with this clip if you if you wear glasses. But if you don't wear glasses, um, they shouldn't bother you that much. But again, you know, they, they fit comfortable. They feel nice. So let me see. Um, yeah, you know, again, this is just your basic pair of, um, for the build quality, it's just your basic pair of headphones. When you look at the styling, it's just, you know, a piece of plastic with a stainless steel band that goes across. And this is what I like, you know, having a um, stainless steel band that goes all the way across, not just to um, part of the headphone. Because a lot of headphones today are made with plastic um, headbands. And the problem with plastic is that it will eventually um, crack and break over time. Especially if you take them on or off like this, you know, if you put them on and pull them off, um, you constantly bend them back and forth like this to put on your head. And when you do that over a long period of time, not maybe even less than a year, um, the bend begins to crack. And then once they break, you know, you can't use them anymore. So at least these do have a steel band across the top. So if, if the plastic do break right here, I'm pretty sure you can still wear these because um, you got a steel band all the way across. But yeah, it's just your average pair, you know, average build quality. And they feel pretty doable, believe it or not, you know. I don't see these breaking anytime soon. And one thing too, if you um, notice that the ear cups actually fold down like that. And like this, and then, yeah, so that's, you know, pretty good. You could put them maybe, I guess, in a case or, or in a bag where they fit kind of flat where it would lay flat so they won't take up much space so that's pretty nice yeah and of course this is all plastic the cup and the housing where the driver is is all plastic but um it feels really solid it doesn't feel cheap you know like a lot of um, plastic headphones out there you know a lot of them out there you know really feel cheap or like they're going to break 
and especially um the brain waves right here you know these are made out of plastic and these feel a lot more um fragile than these do you know so the, actually these are made out of different plastics it's like a really brittle plastic and it just feels like these might break if you accidentally drop these you know or if you accidentally you know if you have them on the floor you accidentally um your foot step on them it feel like they would just break yeah see look at this so yeah so i have to say for the built quality on these um tiny sennheiser headphones it's really good they feel really durable like they're going to last you for a long time as you can see they have because again you know i believe these are at least 20 years old i'm not really sure i have to um look it up and also on that um you know these are really hard to find and this is what i've um, been talking about um you know if you do come across a pair of these headphones i would definitely recommend getting them because um they sound incredible but the thing is, they are a very rare pair of headphones. Um, I can't find them anywhere. And I was really lucky just to find this pair. But I did find a website that actually sold these headphones. It's called, the site is called Crunchfill. And they um, sell a lot of electronic gadgets. They sell a lot of high quality audio equipment, including headphones, you know, speakers, stereo systems, and stuff like that. And that's actually the only a uh, website online that I found that still, you know, gave a profile on these headphones. Again, you know, these are really hard to fi find online. It's hard to find any information or any specs about these headphones. And that's the only site that I found that actually was selling these. And of course, they've been discontinued. But I will post the site, you know, in the description section below. So you could take a look at the site because I have a really nice photo of these headphones. And they also, you know, mention the sound quality, and I'm not sure if they mention the complete specs, but they do give you some information about these headphones. And from what I was reading, they actually say they are transparent. You know, they sound transparent. They are actually designed for um, high-end sound. You know, I think that's what the site says, high-end sound. So I have to admit, you know, the sound that comes from these headphones are pretty much high-end, you know. Um, they don't really have the highs that, you know, that a lot of listeners may be used to listening to. You know, if you like headphones that are really bright or crisp, these are not the, you know, these are not the ones for you. Um, but what they do is actually, they provide you with great mid-range. If you are someone who likes strong mid-range, these are the headphones. And... As for the bass, you know, the bass is it's really deep. You know, it's pretty deep for a headphone this size. And the highs are there. They're not um, overbearing. They are not bright. They are really subtle, but they still sound, you know, pretty relaxed. But, but what really stands out about these headphones is the mint range. As I mentioned, you know, my previous video with, uh, um, I'll try to remember, the Pro 40s. Minicio Pro 40s, you know, if you watch that um, video that I did with those headphones, I said the mids on those headphones were insane. And I made a mistake on those because those was actually modified headphones. But these right here, um, the mids, they sound incredible. If you're looking for a pair of headphones that have great mids that are really strong and powerful, this is it. And to me, it seemed like they really boosted the mids in these headphones. Because this is what you hear when you put them on. They have, like I said, they have good bass response. And the highs are, are good. You know, they're kind of laid back. But they're good. It sounds pretty balanced. But when you hear the mids, the mids just really stands out. And they're just really powerful, you know, with these tiny, in these tiny pair of headphones. So, um, again, I think that's about it. But I also wanted to mention that, you know, uh, if you do look for these online, remember, um, they are the PMX200. Um, Sennheiser actually made different models of the headphones. Some are called actually the PX 200. And again, those are not the same ones. These are the PMX. Just remember, um, PMX 200. They have some that look similar. And I think the newer ones, actually, the headband actually folds up. These don't. But again, you know, if you can find these headphones online, I would definitely recommend you know, because these sound incredible. And again, you know, how do they sound compared to the um, Brainwaves HM5s? I have to say they sound just as good. And that's the thing, you know, that the sound stage on these 
tiny headphones is huge. I mean, they have as much soundstage as the Brainwaves HM5 headphones. I mean, they do, you know. You look at these, how large these are, but when you listen, you know, to the sound and compare the soundstage, these tiny headphones have just about the same amount of soundstage that these Brainwaves have. I mean, pretty much, um, to be honest, these sound almost as loud as these you know sound almost as huge as these do believe it or not they do yeah i, I mean you know you're not going to miss anything as i mentioned before the only thing you would miss you know if you use these is that the brainwaves has better extensions you know the highs are better the highs are more present in these headphones and that's the only thing that you would be missing if you um use these over these is that these, uh, the Brainwaves have better highs. And again, this is a balanced pair of sounding headphones. And these are too, but the highs are just slightly muted a bit. But again, you wouldn't really notice a, until you listen to other pair of headphones, you, you know, that really have a, a high extension. But again, you know, um, these are some of the best sounding pair of um, tiny behind the head headphones that I have ever um, listened to or used. Trust me, if you can find these anywhere, definitely get them. Because I have seen um, these on eBay selling, um, I guess the newer model of these, selling for as much as $150. I've seen some sellers selling for like $50, $100, and even $150 for these headphones. And trust me, um, I would not pay $100 for these. I would rather buy a new modern pair. But they are definitely worth like 50 or 60 bucks. I would definitely pay 40 bucks for these with no problem, you know, because they sound that good. And I think that's about it. And as you can see, you know, everything on these headphones are pretty average. You know, you get um, the cushion right here. Again, this is just like a, a um, foam cushion with the standard um, cloth. You know, it's nothing special. It's not leather. It's not vinyl rubber it's just basic cloth with foam inside of it as you see these are vintage so the um the cover's starting to um come off a little bit but yeah there's nothing really um special about the built quality of these um headphones as you can see just everything is average but the sound quality is amazing it's really great so that's about it for these um, headphones. Again, these are the Sennheiser PMX 200 headphones. And let me tell you, if you can find these anywhere, I would definitely recommend getting these because you won't be disappointed, you know. As I mentioned before, I have listened to other headphones and I've been disappointed with them. As I mentioned before, you know, the uh, ship, the Philips Ship 96, I was disappointed. And I have to tell you, even these to me, sound better than the SHIP 9600. So if you have a pair of the SHIP 9600 headphones, um, these tiny little vintage headphones sound much better than those, you know. But again, these are very rare. These are hard to find. But if you do come across them, um, I would definitely recommend buying them because you won't be disappointed. They have a huge sound stage, good bass response, and the mids are just great. They are, you know, awesome and that's about it thank you very much for watching goodbye